Welcome to the Mobile Homestead. My name is Kim, although most of you watching right now are probably already friends of mine. What we're here to do is kind of learn together. So basically, this video is just kind of a introduction. What it is that I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Just kind of a jumping off point so that we were all on the same page. I really don't want anyone to watch any of this and think that I'm trying to um, provide you with definitive knowledge or anything concrete. Really, I'm super still in the learning phases and I'm probably gonna make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> so yeah, what am I doing? Uh, right now, um, my boyfriend John and I just rent a mobile home in a trailer park and luckily it has a really decent sized yard as far as trailer parks go, which is nice. Um, we are in the very back of the park, right along a tree line, there's nobody behind us. We've got a nice area where I've set up a garden and uh, this will be my second year having a garden here and I'm um, just kind of building off of what I started last year. So it's also a great time to really explore seed starting, which I have done before, um, but not to the extent that I have this year. So uh, you guys will get to see what I'm doing with all of that. I'm going to make a whole separate video on my seeds. Um, I'm also planning on doing garden tours. I'm going to try and do a weekly thing uh, just so we can all kind of track the progress together. And then when it's the dead of winter, I will have videos to look back on of my lovely plants all alive and doing well. Hopefully, if I don't kill them. My long-term dreams are to, like long, long term, in a perfect world, if I had all the money and all the resources right now, I would go and I'd get a 10 acre plot. I'd really like to live on 10 acres. and. If I had my way, five of them would be wooded with some kind of natural water running through it, small creek or something, and then the other five would be where the house is, I've got a huge garden, and I do want to have animals, but really I don't want to have more than like a handful of chickens and a few dairy goats. Um, I don't see myself becoming some gigantic production. Um, I don't see myself trying to become commercial and sell a lot of things. But um, what I do want to work towards is sustainability, um, which really kind of leads into the deep why of why I'm doing this, which is that um, ever since I was a kid, basically, uh, I've always had an interest in that kind of a lifestyle um, that just involved working with plants and animals more. It's always just felt more um, natural, which sounds all hippie-like, but really like it just deep inside feels real and right. Um, and I've never gotten that feeling really from uh, the real world, whatever you want to call that. But from that and like just as you get older, becoming more disillusioned, you know, in this day and age where we have YouTube and we've got, you know, all of the documentaries at our fingertips with Netflix, how awful a lot of the industries are that we rely upon to sustain our lives. Um, and it's really, really difficult to pull out of those systems and to say I'm not going to participate anymore um, with just the way that the world is kind of structured. So I just kind of have always, always felt a draw towards things that help you to kind of disconnect from those systems a little bit. And um, it seems like growing my own food is a great place to start. And I don't think that with my current setup, I'll be able to necessarily completely provide for my household, which is just John and myself. But um, where I'm at now is a great opportunity to learn the basics. And um, because I'm limited in space, it will help rein me in because I tend to get a bit obsessive. And when I when I want to do my do my thing, I really will sink my teeth into it. There's so many different kinds of foods out there, and that's what I'm almost most excited for is the variety of food that I'm going to be able to eat. Like, did you guys know there's hundreds? I'm pretty sure of varieties of tomato. Like, it's insane to me. And like, I knew there were different varieties of tomato. And like, you know, going to the store, okay, there's cherry. There's the bigger ones that are for slicing. There's Roma tomatoes that are kind of like ovals. But no, literally there are hundreds of kinds of tomatoes to start. And then peppers, you get into that world. Cucumbers, eggplants, radishes, carrots, celery, all of the herbs. It, it, it's just mind boggling. And if you have an obsessive personality, 
and you want to get into something that can be collected, holy cow seeds. That's going to be a whole other set of videos we, we do is uh, my seed collection and talking about seeds, the differences and all those terms. So um, we'll get there. It's just so pleasing to see how pretty a garden can be with all of the genetic diversity that you get from all these different varieties that you can grow. Um, so that'll be really fun. So yeah, I'm really excited to get into this with you guys. Uh, we're just going to do a lot of learning and I'm going to do my best to post frequent videos. I've never really been a videoer or a journaler or a blogger or a picture taker, um, but I'm really, really stupid excited about plants. <laughs> And I can always talk about plants. And I feel like if I maybe have this as an outlet to talk about plants, I'm not going to bore everyone in my life that I'm in contact with uh, about all of my plant stuff. Um, and I'm also really excited, too, to just get connected with this. Because I hope you guys know that feeling of when you find your truth and you start working towards it, how right it feels. And that's kind of where I'm at right now and just acknowledging that this is what I want to do with my time and that in the long run I'm gonna have my 10 acres with my babbling brook and my crazy gardens and my little mini goats and farm fresh eggs every day and it's gonna be great <laughs> um, so yeah but for now we are at the mobile homestead and we're going to be working with our 1200 square foot house and our teeny tiny outdoor garden. And while we're in this learning stage, I just got to get my hands dirty. So we're going to have some videos along the way. And um, yeah, really excited to learn with you guys. I appreciate you and I can't wait till next time. Thanks.